Welcome to the Prodigy AutoCode Meter. Upon opening the box, you'll find inside Prodigy AutoCode Meter, Prodigy No Coding Test Strips, Prodigy Control Solution, a Lansing device, Lancets, Printed Owner's Manual, Logbook, Warranty Card, two AAA Alkaline Batteries, and a Carrying Case. Let's take a look at the front of the meter. Starting from the top, you'll see the test strip slot, then the M button. On the bottom of the meter is the USB port and the speaker. Finally, you will notice the LCD screen. Now looking on the back, you will find the buckle. By pressing down, you'll open to the battery compartment and also see the set button you'll be using for setting the meter. First start in the back of the meter by inserting the batteries. The sticker in the battery compartment ensures the batteries are oriented properly. With the batteries installed, press the set button and flip over the meter without reattaching the back plate. Use the M button on the front to select the language you want. L1 for English, L2 for Spanish, L3 for French, and L4 for Arabic. Again, flipping the meter over, Press the set button and then go back to the front to set the volume. As you set the volume, you will hear a chime to let you hear the different volume levels. Simply choose from 1 to 3 for different sound levels or choose 0 if you don't want any sound. Again, press the set button and then the M button to advance the year. Pressing the set button now allows you to set the desired month using the M button. Set your month and press the set button. Returning to the front to set the desired date. Press the set button to set the hour. Press the M button for the desired hour. Press the set button to set the minutes. Press the M button for the desired minutes. Press the set button to set the unit of measurement. Press the M button to choose the desired unit of measurement. Milligrams per deciliter for American or millimoles per liter for Canadian. The final step before you get started using your meter is to once again press the set button and if you want to clear and delete all of the records, press the M button. If not, simply press the set button one more time and the meter will shut off, retaining your information. Now snap on the back and you're ready for the final steps to start using the meter. You will need the following to perform a control solution test. The Prodigy AutoCode Meter, Prodigy No Coding Test Strips, Prodigy Control Solution, Tissue. Remember, only use Prodigy Control Solution and Prodigy Test Strips with the meter. First, insert a test strip into the test strip slot. Now press the M button and the Control Solution mode will be entered. Now shake the bottle and discard the first drop on your tissue. The second drop is applied to your finger and then applied to the test strip. The meter will count down and report the test results. Now you can check the control solution ranges on your test strip vial. Remember, in the control solution mode, the results are not saved. Before you can perform a blood glucose test, you'll need to assemble your lancing device. First, unscrew the cap of the lancing device. Insert the lancet by aligning one of the ridges into the slot of the device holder. Now gripping the lancet, twist the plastic cap off the lancet and re-screw on the lancing device cap. Pulling back cocks the device and by rotating the cap, the easy to use numbers set the depth level. Now you are ready to perform a blood glucose test. You'll need your Prodigy AutoCode meter, your assembled lancing device, Prodigy no coding test strips, and a tissue. Insert the test strip into the test strip slot. Puncture finger with lancing device. Wipe off the first drop and apply second drop to test strip. When the absorbent opening is full, the meter will beep. Your meter will now count down from 6 to 1 and show the result. Discard the test strip and lancet according to local regulations. To recall test results, press the M button while the meter is off. 
After you hear the intro message, press the M button again to enter memory recall mode. The meter will report the 7-day average first. Pressing the M button advances to the 14 and 28-day averages. Press the M button again and the most recent individual test results will appear. Continuing to press the M button will provide a maximum of 450 test results. To exit memory mode, press and hold the M button for 5 seconds or leave the meter alone for 2 minutes and it will turn off automatically.